pupils in the Year 4 class are learning about healthy eating and where their food comes from. They begin by looking at the Eat Well plate. So good morning everybody. So today we're going to have a look at this board here. Can anyone tell me what this is? Is it a pie chart? It does look a bit like a pie chart, but it's not. Has anybody else any ideas? The Eat Well plate. Yes, it is called the Eat Well plate. Well done. Right, let's find out what everyone's favourite food is. Scampi. Pasta. Pasta. Cheese. Cheese, lovely. Right, okay, so we've got two buckets here and they've got different foods inside them. And we're going to take it in turns to pick a food out of the buckets and then we're going to say if that food comes from a plant or an animal. Wow, can you tell me what you've got? A potato. Brilliant. And does a potato come from a plant or an animal? Plant. Well done. Eggs. Brilliant. Do they come from a plant or an animal? An animal. What sort of animal? A chicken. Chicken. Super. It feels like something nice. Yogurt. A yogurt. And does that come from a plant or an animal? An animal. An animal. What animal does it come from? A cow. A cow. Does it come straight out the cow just like that? As a yogurt? How does it come out the cow? Yes, the milk the cow. Ooh. Huh. An apple. An apple, brilliant. And does an apple come from a plant or an animal? A plant. A plant, fantastic. Cheese. What have you got? Cheese. And where does cheese come from? An animal. An animal. What animal does it come a from? A cow. A cow. Ooh, what have you got there? Oh, beef. And we'll have a look, wow. Got some beef there, and does that come from a plant or an animal? Animal. An animal, fantastic. What sort of animal does it come Cow. from? Cow. Well done. It's a carrot. A definitely a plant. Definitely a plant. Oh, what is it? Tuna. Tuna, brilliant. And does tuna come from a plant or an animal? Animal. An animal, what sort of animal? Fish. Brilliant. Wow, what's that? Milk. Milk. And is that from a plant or an animal? Animal. And what sort of animal is it from? Cow. Well done, it is, isn't it? The children are going to visit a dairy farm in Staffordshire to learn more about where their food comes from. The coach arrives and the children climb on and fasten their seatbelts. The farm is about a 30 minute drive away. When the children arrive at the farm, they meet Adam and Emily, who are dairy farmers. The children take a seat in an unused barn to listen to Adam and Emily. Emily explains some important safety rules on the farm. Emily begins the tour at a field where the cows are grazing. There are about 60 cows in the field. The children ask Emily lots of questions about the cows. What colours are on a cow? Very good question because we've really basically got one breed of cow here which is called a Holstein Frisian and you can see even within that we've got some black and white cows and some red and white cows but there are lots of different breeds of dairy cows. You might well see jerseys about or Ayrshire's or all different types of cows. You'll see them in different colours all over the country, different breeds. So grass is the main thing that we feed our dairy cows and we feed it in two ways. They can eat it here in the field or during the summer we cut it, put it away and then we can feed it to them later in the winter when it's too cold and wet for them to be out in the fields. And can you see the ones that are lying down? Well they're not only lying down, they're digesting the grass so that they can make the milk that they're going to come out and be milked in the milking parlour later. And I don't know if you can see, just over there, there's two of them drinking. And we need to make sure they've got plenty of nice, clean, fresh water. The cows really enjoy fresh water and won't drink it if it is old or dirty. But the main reason they drink so much water is because they're producing milk. And milk's got a lot of water in it. Believe it or not, these cows can drink about 100 litres of water a day. So we need to make sure they've got plenty of clean, fresh water, both in the field and if they're inside as well. What do they do in the day? What we do here at this farm is we milk them twice a day. And these cows come between the milkings, they come out and eat grass 
here in the field. And if you see, they spend quite a lot of time just grazing and walking around and eating the next piece of grass. And they spend some time lying down and chewing the cud, we call it, where they're just digesting that grass. And then at night, because we're still quite early on in the year, they come inside to one of the barns we've got here. So they've got some nice, comfortable beds for them to be resting on there and they get some feed indoors as well. When the children arrived at the field, the cows were quite far away. It isn't long before the cows become curious about the children and begin to walk up for a closer look. Are the cows happy? Well, I think they look quite happy, don't you? They look very relaxed. A lot of them are sitting down, they're just eating their grass. We as farmers need the, the cows to be happy in order for them to produce milk for us. So we make sure they've got a comfortable place to lie, we make sure they've got the right kind of food. We get the vet in regularly just to keep making sure that they're healthy. So I think they're happy and I think they look pretty happy as well. Do the cows stay out all the time? Well, it depends a little bit where you farm in the country and what kind of system. But here at this farm, our cows are indoors during the winter when the weather's cold and wet, and then they come out in the spring and the summer. Who looks after all these fields? Well, we look after most of these fields that we can see in front of us. All the fields here are all grass, um, and every year we, we mow the grass um, to save the grass for the, for the winter for the fit cows for the feed. Um, and they also need um, regular topping and weeding as well. And around the fields you can see the hedges. Um, and the hedges are not just there to keep the cows in, but they're very good um, for, for birds and wildlife to live in as well. So every year we have to cut the hedges and, and keep them trimmed and all the trees as well and keep them all in order. Next, the children move on to look at the food the cows are eating when they are not eating fresh grass. Okay. What do cows eat? In the winter. During the summer, the cows eat grass most of the time. And does anyone know what this is? And can you see these little grains here? It's like crushed sweet... Hang on, let me find one. There. It's like sweet corn, isn't it? And do you like sweet corn? <laughs> Our cows love it. There's the corn and also all the plant as well. And in the autumn, we chop it all up, chop it up really finely like this, and put it into a big pile in this in this clamp we call it. And we put the sheet over and during the winter the cows eat it. And we also mix this with other types of feed. Now just around there we've got some wheat as well. And does anyone know what we can what people use wheat for? Yes. Making bread. You're right, that's it. But we use the wheat to feed to the cows. And so we get this wheat in the summer, we harvest it with a combine as normal, and we store it on the farm and mix it in um, with the maize with this and the grass silage as well and it makes a really good feed and we have someone out a nutritionist come out every month um, and he checks our diet to make sure that we're mixing up exactly the right amount of each ingredient um, to make a really balanced diet for the cows and we take a, an analysis of the silage of all the silages to make sure it's all properly balanced for the cows Pickled hay, you're spot on. You're right again, you are. So in the summer, we harvest the, side, the grass and bring it into this big clamp here, this big pile, and we squash it down with tractors and make it get all the air out, save the feed, save the grass for the cows during the winter. And this is what we mix up with the maize and the wheat in the feeder wagon. Um, does anyone like a smell of this? I really have. It's nice. It's lovely, isn't That's it? Lovely. <laughs> Every day we mix up the feed for the cows in this machine called a feeder wagon. Um, so we, um, we mix them up in a particular order, um, with particular amounts of each feed. And it's stored on the memory stick in the bottom of this feeder here. And then I can download this every week onto the internet. And then you can see how efficient we are at feeding the cows. Now the children are going to look at the cow shed. There are a few cows for the children to see. The children ask Adam a few more questions. They have noticed the cows are lying on beds and they ask Adam about this. What are, what are they sleeping on? The cows are lying on a special surface called a mattress, like everyone else. Like we all lie on a mattress, don't we? But this is a special mattress with a special a surface on the top that stops any liquid getting through. And it's got some very soft rubber layer underneath as well. And this, on top of that, we put some sawdust as well to make it even more comfortable for the cows. 
What's around the cow's necks? That's a good question. The cows have a special thing around the necks which measure the activity. So whenever the cows move around, it picks up the activity. And from that information, we can tell if the cow is sick. Because if a cow is sick, she lies down and doesn't move around very much like you and I. How many cows are on your farm? 200 adult cows, and we've got two bulls as well. And we've also got um, about 160 um, other, other cattle on the farm, ranging from little baby calves through to two-year-old heifers. What do the ear tags on the ears mean? Well, each cow has an individual ear tag, but each one's got an individual number on it. And this relates to its passport as well. So each cow has a passport. You have to enter it on there as well, a, a registration that the cow has moved from one farm to another. And I also have to um, email this information through to a database as well. So there's a big database to know exactly where every cow is in the country. Yeah. Do all the cows live inside in the winter? On this farm, all our cows live inside during the winter because the weather is normally too cold and too wet. Um, mainly because the, the grass isn't growing in the, in the winter as well. So we've stored the, the feed, for the, the grass and everything for the cows in the summer to save it for the winter. It looks like a beautiful sunny day, but it is very early spring and these cows are still living in the shed from winter. When it gets warmer, the cows will spend more time outside. The cows do come inside in bad weather in the summertime. So in, in, in the winter, they're inside all the time anyway. But in the summer, if it gets particularly wet, we'll bring them inside. Also, if, if it gets too hot as well. How long do cows sleep for? How long do they lie down for? Well, cows lie down for about 14 hours during the day. But they only sleep, properly sleep, for about half an hour. It is nearly lunchtime and the children are getting hungry. Emily shows them where they can wash their hands. She explains that hand washing is important before eating when they are on a farm and around animals. Emily asks the children what they have got for lunch. I've got a yogurt and cheese. Lots of children have got foods made from milk in their lunch boxes. After lunch, the children continue their tour. They see where the cows are milked. This is called a milking parlour. We're now in the parlour, and this is where the place where the cows get milked twice a day. Cows come in at the back of the parlour here and work their way down here and stand in a row down that side and down this side. And when the cows come in, the first thing we do is we just squeeze the teats a little bit to take a little bit of milk from them just to check to make sure the milk looks okay. The next thing we do is to disinfect the teats, and we use some disinfectant in a little dip cup and disinfect it and then we get some paper towels and wipe them very clean. Then we attach these, which are called a cluster, to the cows. And so there's a vacuum in here which sucks the milk and we put them on one at a time onto the cow and they gently squeeze the milk and suck at the same time so it just squeezes the cow. So imagine, years ago we used to milk cows by hand like this, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. But this does it, and this does it automatically. So you just squeeze the milk like that. And the milk comes from the cow up this pipe here, this plastic pipe, and into these metal pipes here. And it goes down along these metal pipes, down to the big tank at the end. And then when that's full, it gets pumped through into the big refrigerator tank in the, in the dairy. Why are there two sides and only one cluster? So here we can be milking this pile, these row of cows, and then we can be cleaning that side of the cow, so we'll clean all of those. And then when this side's finished, we can let them all out, and that side are ready to be put on. Does it hurt? The cows get very used to it. It doesn't hurt at all. It's a natural process of just milking the cows. It's very gentle. If the cows didn't like it, they'd kick, and they'd kick it off all the time. But the cows are very quiet and very relaxed when they milk. How long does the milking take? Well, we're milking about 180 cows at the moment, and that'll take about two and a half hours to milk. So each cow takes about seven to ten minutes to milk each cow individually. Do the clusters come off the cow when it's finished? And up here there's a sensor that can tell how, mu how much milk is coming from the cow. And when it's dropped below a certain point, when it's coming off quite slowly, it automatically comes up and pulls this cord and comes off, pulls it, pulls it off. And then the cow's finished, and then when we've finished, we dip the cow again, the teats again, with some disinfectant, and then she can go out. Why do they need to get disinfected? And the end of the teat is a little hole where the milk comes from. 
and when it's milking, that hole is open. And then when she's finished milking, it's still open for a little about 20 minutes. So we put some disinfectant on the end just to stop any dirt or bacteria at all getting onto that teat end and stop any infection getting into the udder. What are the blue things for? These measure how much milk comes from each cow. And so when the cow is being milked, there's a reading just along in here saying how many litres each cow is given. Adam takes the children to where the milk is stored in the bulk tanks. The children can see two large bulk tanks full of milk. What happens to the milk when it comes out of the cows? Well, when it's come from the cow, it comes along a pipe and we filter the milk and then we cool the milk and then it comes into a big tank like this. And this tank keeps the milk cold and it stirs it up to keep it all even and it keeps it cold at about just below 4 degrees centigrade. And then we store it for one day and every day a milk tanker comes and collects it from this farm and takes it to the dairy. And at the dairy it is either bottled or made into cheese or yoghurt or any other dairy products. And so every day we sell 5,000 litres of milk. Can you see all that milk? The milk tanker arrives to collect the milk. Where are you taking the milk? The milk goes back to the dairy in Ashbury. But it'll be processed at the dairy and then goes to the shop. The tanker driver connects a pipe to the bulk tank and the milk is drawn into the tanker. He also checks the temperature of the milk and takes a sample. As the driver collects the milk and stores the samples, the children have one more place to visit. Emily takes the children to another shed to see the newborn calves. Some of these calves were born only a week ago. It is time for the children to leave the farm. They change out of their boots and head for the coach. The children have seen lots of interesting things on the farm. Where the cows live, what they eat, how the cows are milked and what happens to the milk. It has been a great day.